Hey y'all, it's your boy Tyson. I hope you enjoy the video. But before you start, I want to let y'all know to remind y'all down below there's my links. You can get in contact with me just if you need somebody to chat to or if you just want to chat in general. You know, I got my kick down there, my Snapchat, all that stuff. And don't forget to hit my ask.fm if you got any questions for your boy. And yeah, without much further ado, here's the video and I'll holler. Uh -huh. Hey y'all, so I'm back today, I'm back right now with another compact video. Now I want to do, I feel like when a mistake genuinely happens, or not even a mistake, when something is taken out of context versus when something should cause an uproar, you know, I feel like people need to differentiate the difference between the two. And that's what I'm going to do with this video. So this is like a learning experience, kind of. Okay. So. Um, I actually am going to start with, um, and this, this video is concerning the Nipsey Hussle backlash, um, the homo for the homophobic Instagram post. And then it's also concerning genuine and him on the, what is it? The, what is the show called? Shit. Um, oh my God. Okay. See, this is what it looks like when I don't have, um, research ready. I did watch the video yesterday and I plan on doing it yesterday, but I, I went, to, I accidentally took a nap. Big brother. There we go. Okay. So I want to start with R&B singer. Okay. We'll start with genuine. Okay. So genuine somehow or another, for some reason is a cast member in the TV series, celebrity big brother UK. So, to go through the situation verbatim, I have the Nipsey Hustle story up here, but I remember what happened on the video. So, in the video, they are discussing um, how it is being a transgender woman, and, you know, instead of, you know, like, thanking the man or, you know, like, having a moment where they're like, you know, it, instead of having, it could have been a different moment for me, you know, but they sat there and talked about how, you know, men that shame transgender women and this that and the other and they basically tried to make it and I'm gonna call bullshit where I see bullshit I may upset some people of the LGBT community that's okay because bullshit is bullshit at the end of the day you can't piss on me and say it's rain it, I, you can't shit on me and say it's chocolate I'm not that type of person um a preference is a preference at the end of the day it does not make a man any less more masculine or any more effeminate because he chooses not to lay with a transgender woman. And that I disagree with heavily. One of the um, women had said that really shows how effeminate a man is or something, something to the degree of that. That was complete and utter bullshit. I'm not with that at all. That was a damn lie. I can tell you right now, I like women. I would not date a transgender woman. I'm, that's just not for me. That's my preference. I would not... Um, uh, fuck a female. That's just not for me. That's not my preference. You know, if I, I, I'm into women, women, meaning women, meaning when I go to touch your twat, there's a twat there, you know, and you know, that's not to be offensive. It's just point blank period. You know, um, there are straight men out there are men who identify straight, who are into she males, who are into pegging, you know, where the girl who doesn't, she's a regular girl, but she takes the strap on and fucks him in the ass. You know, there are men who are into transgenders. There's, there's areas for, in men for all types of those kinks and stuff. I'm not into that personally. And the fact that Genuine is not into it is okay. That's called a preference. There's nothing wrong with that. So, where the LGBT community, not all of the members, but some of them missed the ball, is for one, not calling out the white woman. And yes, I'm going to bring up the fact that she's white. Because had this had been reversed and Genuine was pushing up on her like that when he tried, when she tried to kiss him, that was sexual assault right there. Any way you spin it, that was wrong. She was very wrong for that. 
And he turned her down kindly. He turned down her advances very kindly. But I'm telling you right now, if there had been a different type of nigga, this shit could have went left. Hella left. So y'all getting mad because he said he personally wouldn't be with a transgender woman. Y'all need to be lucky. That's all that happened after she tried to put her lips all up on him and stuff. That was sexual assault. But because he's a male, nobody's going to call that out right. There's no outrage right? Outrage because gender's reversed, right? Um, yeah, I see the bullshit. But that right there, that was wrong. And then for also for some of the members of LGBT, to compare racism to LGBT community, there's no comparison there. I'm sorry. I understand you go through your struggles. To me, it is the same as um, if y'all recall months ago, I did my Shea Moisture video and I talked about how, yes, redheads do get the short end of the stick in the white community. To a degree, yes. You know, uh, why do you think they have the phrase ugly redheaded stepchild or redheaded stepchild or something? You know, um, it's the person that doesn't fit or da 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 this and the other. And yes, redheads are viewed by that or like that in some areas of the white community. However, a redhead, a redheaded girl or boy has does not have nearly the same struggle as a black anything. Black child, black male, black female, black female, whatever, whatever. Any uh any any type of gender. There's no comparison there. So what I need people to do is stop comparing racism to um LGBT haters or hate on the LGBT community. There's no comparison. There's no comparison. Okay. Racism has like, and they don't get me wrong. You know, you, the LGBT members, they go through shit too, but they're comparing this to racism. That's bullshit to me too. Like I said, you're not going to piss on me and tell me it's raining. You know, there is a long systematic history behind racism. There's nothing systematic behind, uh, uh, LGBT community. I'm sorry. In fact, in some areas that a, that gives you a higher advantage. You know, if you want to be in the fashion industry, you know, don't act like there's no workplace or no type of, you know, like no environment, you know, for the LGBT community community members. So I feel that anybody comparing that to racism is dead wrong. Dead wrong. And Nips, uh, sorry, not Nipsey, Genuine was in the right, and he responded well with that situation, because I'm going to keep it real. Homegirl couldn't have been touching up on me like that. First of all, I don't know you, and second of all, I don't care for white women, so I might, I might have gave her Mayweather jab. I'm not even going to front. Like, I mean, that's sexual assault. I don't do that shit. If I can't push up on you like that, it should be the same way around. Now, moving on to this situation, and like I said on that situation, I am on Genuine's side completely. Now, moving on to the Nipsey Hussle situation. Okay, so Nipsey Hussle, I'm going to read y'all the article from Double XL Magazine. Nipsey Hussle, I'm probably going to paraphrase it along the way. But Nipsey Hussle just landed himself in some pretty big trouble in social media circles. On Monday, January 8th, the rapper um, uploaded an Instagram post in which he spoke down on the gay community. His offensive gesture came in the form of the caption for, for said post, which includes an image of a large group of black boys and men. Ooh, season. Ooh, season. Demonstration speaks louder than conversation, wrote Nip. They gonna feed us every image of our men and boys, but this one, no hyper-violent, no homosexual, no abandoners, just strong black men and young men. Strong black men and young men. Respect to my big homie for leading with love and intelligence. God is with us. Who can go against us? Um, and of course, his comment... Um, echoed sentiment shared by a number in a certain subset of the black community there is a belief that the media conspires to show black men in a light that either makes them appear too violent or feminine this equates homosexual this group equates homosexuality with weakness and now folks are getting the sense that nipsey belongs to their group nipsey defended his comments and surprisingly and unsurprisingly, even with hip hop is increasingly um, outwards acceptance of the community, he's not backing down. I ain't got to be political correct because I ain't standing on nobody else's platform. I believe in love and acceptance, but you ain't going to piss on my head and tell me it's raining. Um, none, I guess he means no one. Maybe that's why I said that earlier. <laughs> I see what's going on. Y'all should too. Okay. Popular black lives, man. Okay. I want to stop there. Actually, let's stop there first. Now, I understand completely what he is saying um, when it comes in what he said. His message was wrong. I feel like maybe he should have said not hyper, no hyper violence, 
no effeminization. Maybe that would have strung along a little better. I feel like he shouldn't have said homosexuality, even though I get what he's saying. The media does push black men in a light that shows them too violent or feminine, but he should have used effeminization or effeminates, whatever the word is, the correct word is. He should have used that instead of homosexual. Um, and there's many, many proof, much, much proof of that going on. Um, you know, I feel like as black folks, when certain things happen, like notice if you watch the news, when there are black people explaining a story, story, notice who they always grab. They always grab either the thug, the quote unquote thug looking black person, stereotypical has dreads or whatever, da da da. Um, this, that, and the other, um, look tall from the flow up. Hell, I remember that incident that happened a couple weeks, years back with the guy with the fucking green hair and the fucking ex eyebrows or whatever the fuck talking about some, um, I was going across Burger King to get a pizza burger, you know, and at the time I laughed at it, but looking back now, it pisses me off and it enrages me. You know, there are so many decent black people and nice looking kept uh, well-spoken black people around in any scenario you go to. I don't give a fuck where you're at. You know, even if you're in the hood, there's some people in there who can con connotate and they can speak well and they can get their words out. You know, and for these news um, companies and shit, uh, these news anchors and people and whatever to make a mockery of black folks and find the fucking green hair motherfucker with nails on his fingers. You can't tell me. You can't tell me that's not the media pulling that bullshit trying to make us look effeminate as black men trying to effeminize the black man or whatever the damn right correct word is um i'm not too keen on effeminate in all the forms of the sorry but nonetheless you can't tell me that's a coincidence that they find that green haired motherfucker i'm sure there was other black people who could have told that story just as well who looked fine and looked okay and didn't look like a joke you know now with that being said i understood where he was coming from and he's right um, if I'm not mistaken, he's not a signed artist, so he's not on nobody else's platform. You know, he's going to speak his mind, and he has the right to do that. You know, we often want to flaunt for spirit, freedom of speech, but as soon as something is said that we don't agree with, we want to be up in arms. You can't have your cake and eat it, too. You know, and I believe what he's saying. I believe in love and acceptance, but you ain't going to piss on my head and tell me it's raining. And honestly, I don't feel like this is a diss to... I feel like he really just meant to say feminine, or he should have just said feminine. Because he said he believes in love and acceptance, but you're not going to piss on my head and tell me it's not raining. So, you know, basically, I feel like what he is saying is you're not going to sit here and act like what I'm saying is not true. You know, I feel like he should have worded it differently, you know. Now, moving on. Let's see. Um, D. Ray McKinnison. Is that his name? McKinnison? Oh, McKinnison. Why they don't capitalize the K in his name? Hmm. Maybe it just um. Nonetheless, okay. So D. Ray spoke out about it, um, the activist, and um, he put at Nipsey Hussle, homophobia is more common than one would hope. And his comments are the idea that to be a gay black man means that means that one cannot be strong, that strength is elusive to gay black men. How does who I love changed my will, my ability to wield and or challenge by or challenge power. Okay, too many gay or too many gay black men are tools, not peers. Is how homophobia folks can steal by the clothes of gay designers. They are tools, objects to be used for a purpose. They are not peers, people equally worth of were equally worthy of respect. Okay, let's see what else. I'm speaking on this today because I remember being a kid and being surrounded by people who tried to convince us that homophobia was really just love repackaged that they were trying to prepare us for the real world where we need to be strong. Homophobia kills too. I've stood in the streets fighting for people who don't see me as a whole person and I know that I continue to fight for our people with whom I disagree. But I also know that we will never build a community of justice that's rooted in ideas that kill people. So let us think about masculinity of men as more than the pathways of the penis. And let us unpack and overcome the homophobia that continues to quietly harm so many. Check your friends and family as they say and do homophobic things and check in on your friends. Homophobia doesn't simply make me uncomfortable. It's the idea that I'm literally not a whole person, that I'm less than a person. You listed three qualities as equally negative, violent, gay, and abandoner. 
and as the opposite of strong, what made you assume everyone in this picture was straight? That is a, viol a, a good point, you know, not everybody in that picture may have been straight. Are you saying that to be against homophobia is to succumb to the mainstream media? Okay. So now that was um, D-Ray's response. I'm not sure if Nipsey responded to him. Um, let me see what this is. Okay, I didn't know if this video was going to show me why he said what he said or if it was just, oh, why he did a deal with Atlantic Records. Oh, well, let me stop playing that shit before they try to block my shit from that, that interview or something or whatever. I ain't got no time for Atlantic Records. Y'all can eat my, both of my ass cheeks. Um, nonetheless, <laughs> um, so now with what D-Ray said, I, I understand where he's coming from. I honestly feel like nipsey meant to say the uh, the effeminization now if he did it well then okay he brought that on himself you know i do feel like the effeminization is definitely a key that the media tries to play on now i'm not going to say they don't try to play on homosexuality because i will also note that whenever there is a gay there is a gay character they are used if they are portrayed on tv they're usually very flamboyant you know hey girl you know all this extra shit Instead of just, you know, okay, you sleep with a man, but, you know, you're still a guy. You know, like, I feel like, excuse me, you know, people have their issues with empire and, you know, but some black folks, that's really what their life is about. You know, it is what it is. Nonetheless, you know, I feel like Jamal is a fine line in between feminine, but still masculine, you know, and Jesse Smollett plays him very well. I feel like that is a quote unquote, I guess, healthy image of, of, of a gay man being portrayed on TV. You know, now the hooking up with, I ain't talking about it. I'm just talking about the fact that, you know, he's equally masculine. You know, he'll walk his ass up there in a sweater. But as y'all can see, he'll still throw them hands. He's still, like, you know, he ain't no wuss, you know. So, or he's not feminine. I don't want to say wuss. That may be offensive. But, you know, he's not super effeminate, you know, and walking around sticking his back out or sticking his ass out and all that stuff, all that extra stuff that nobody needs to do that women don't even need to do. So, I mean, you know. I get what Nipsey, where he was coming from, but that's the value thing. That's the thing to point out, too. You don't know everybody in that picture. You don't know if they were straight, you know, and I feel like he should he, he should have worded that better. You know, um, as far as I see, he didn't go on a tyrant. You know, he just said he stands by his point, And I feel like at that the end of the day, that's all you can do. Now, I feel like with Genuine, what he did, I'm, I can totally stop with that 100%. Um, I feel like Nipsey should have did this differently. And while part of me feels like he said homosexual and meant to say effeminate, another part of me feels like he said what he meant to say. So, you know, if he did, well, then I have to say he's dead wrong for that. You know, um, you you offended some of your fan base, you know, and you got to deal with the backlash that comes from that, you know, as well as the LGBT community in in general. But I also feel like the LGBT community, some some a lot of y'all will need to realize that at the end of the day, not everybody is going to accept you, you know. Same with the transgender, um, same with the transgender community. And when I say accept, I mean, like, in the way that you necessarily want to. You know, dear trans, you know, dear transgender women, not a lot of, well, I mean, I'm not going to say not a lot, but, you know, some straight men will date you, some straight men will not, you know, and that is okay, you know. Um, the LGBT community, some people are going to co-sign your decisions and some of them are going to not, you know, and that happens with all of us in life, you know, um, I know a couple right now, they're straight, they're having to fight their parents to get married, you know, so I mean, granted, I mean, y'all's fight for marriage is different, but you know what I'm saying, we all have different walks of life and different struggles and different this, that, and the other, some people are going to understand you, some people are going to not, and all you can do is surround yourself with people who are judge-free and not going to judge you for who you sleep with, and it is what it is at the end of the day, not everybody's going to co-sign it, and that's just life, you know, that's just life, you can't force any agenda down anybody's throat, you know, um, and some people, sad to say, but they're going to instill that same shit in their kids. In their kids, they're going to have some shitty-ass kids. 
and they're going to teach their kids the same thing. You know, it's up to the individual to break the cycle, but you all you can do is lead the horse to water. You can't make them drink it. So, you know, I would lighten up on the dragon because, I mean, apparently Nipsey's not going to change his mind, you know. Um, it's just like the... H&M thing with the coolest monkey in the jungle. I tweeted them. I said my piece. I'm not going to sit here and tweet them death threats all day and continue to tweet them 20 times. Ain't nobody doing all that. You know, I did my video and I sent my piece, you know. So on that note, um, there is a, I gave y'all a compact version. I gave y'all kind of, uh, I gave y'all a, a situation where there was no wrong done and people overreacted in a situation where I can, I can kind of see where everybody kind of reacted. Um, or it kind of was upset and in an uproar. So with that being said, y'all let me know down below what y'all thought. Did y'all think Genuine was in the right? Do you think he was in the wrong? Do you think it's deeper than just that's his preference? Do you think LGBT struggles should be compared to racism? Um, do you think Nipsey Hussle was wrong? Do you think he meant to say um, the feminization, feminization, whatever the word is, of black men? Or do you really think he meant to say homosexuality, you know? And um, how do you think about D-Ray's response? And um, yeah, you know, let me know in the comments down below. Leave a like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will catch you on the next video. Bye.